Hey guys, Alex with Rapid Fire Rundown. Today, in under five minutes, I want to explain to you high mounted optics and why you should be interested in them. What is a high mounted optic? Well, this EOTech has a mount built into it. Instead, I have it on a Unity riser that brings it up to a 2.26 height. 1.93 and 2.26 have become extremely popular recently because of Instagram and YouTube operators showing them off and people want to emulate that. But there are some good reasons to do it. I want to bring you through those as quickly as I possibly can. The first reason you may be interested in a high mount, and that's just going to be the overall head position when you are bringing your head up to the rifle. This is what everyone talks about. They say, oh, I went to 2.26 or 1.93 and I can't go back. And what they're really meaning when they say that is that instead of having to crank my head all the way down and interfere with my straps a lot of the time too, which is another point, instead of having to do this, I instead can just kind of have a cheek weld. You'll notice that my stock is barely in my shoulder, but if I get the stock completely in my shoulder, I could just bring my head that low and I immediately have a proper sight picture. That can be beneficial for all you army guys that probably have herniated discs. I don't, but it feels good. Uh, shooting at the range, I don't have any neck strain after a couple hours of using this, which many people probably can't say the same. So if you do have spinal injuries or if you just want to be a little bit more comfortable shooting, this is a really good option, okay? The second reason you may want to get into tall mounts is, well, first of all, they look really cool. But second of all, um, they can allow you to kind of see a little bit more around you. And what I mean by that is, and this is very pseudoscience, so take this with a grain of salt. But many people, they say with lower mounted optics, when you are just crunched into your optic, you're really just hyper focused on what's in front of you and what's basically within that window. And that's it. Instead, with a high mounted optic, a lot of people say your situational awareness around the optic is a little bit heightened because you're not crunched into your rifle and they just, in CQB, they say these high mounted optics are, are a big benefit. Um, I've never been there, I've never done that. I don't do CQB very often, but I can see the benefit behind it and I think I understand where they're coming from. The third reason you wanna get into high mounted optics and definitely the most important reason in my opinion is night vision use. Now, for this rifle, I could easily not have this on a mount and try to do night vision with this MCX and it wouldn't interfere. But instead, with this higher optic, when I bring my eye up to this EOTech, I have so much room where it's not going to bump into my iron sight. If there's a magnifier on here, it's not going to bump into my magnifier, but this higher mount just makes it so, once again, it's a more heads up shooting position, which is more comfortable, but it just makes night vision significantly easier. Night vision shooting is shooting, but it's about three times harder. So what I mean by that is night vision, it's really not anything too different than what you, we already do in the flat range. However, when you shoot under nods, you're just gonna notice that everything is just a little bit more difficult. This higher mount, making it easier to bring my 14 up to my rifle is really beneficial, guys. Um, if you're not running night vision, I don't know if I'd recommend you 100% move to a higher mount. However, if you are running night vision, like this 14 monocular, I think it's a great upgrade. In fact, I'm not going to say it's mandatory, but for about a hundred bucks, I think it's an excellent steal. I think it offers um, a significant improvement boost over just having a extremely low mounted optic. And I recommend you try it. Go pick one up on eBay for 20 bucks, buy a fake one and just throw it on your rifle and see how it works. Or if you're really cool, I don't know, duct tape it on a on a piece of cardboard and see if uh, see if it hurts your neck or see if it works for you. But regardless, do what works for you. If you're just shooting at the flat range and you have no reason to move to a higher optic and your head doesn't hurt after scrunching in and whatnot, just stay with what you have. But if you're interested in maybe expanding into a different field that you haven't really experimented with, like these high mounted optics, I give it my recommendation. All right, so this has been Alex with Rapid Fire Rundown. Hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you did. Like and comment down below. Have a good one.